Welcome back. We are now in exercise number eight for SOLIDWORKS 2014 Advanced Edition. In this exercise, we're going to be focused all the, on all the advanced mates. And for the first one, we're going to be focusing on the gear mate. So as you can see in front of you, you have three gears. Now, the reason I put three is to show you how we can join them all together. So when we rotate one of them, all the rest are affected. Usually when you do play around with gear mates or you want to learn how to do gear mates, you're usually connecting more than just two gears. And that's why I selected to uh, put in an extra gear so I can show you what to do with that. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So I actually already had a gear mate over here that I'm going to delete so I can start over for you. Okay, so I have these three gears. Let's go ahead and get started. Come over here under mate and then scroll down over here. You're going to see two features over here, advanced mates. So if you scroll down over here, you're going to see a few advanced mates that will uh, show you how to do a little bit later. And then there's also going to be mechanical mates. Mechanical mates is right underneath uh, advanced mates. And if you open them up, there's a total of seven mechanical mates. Okay, there's cam, slot, hinge, gear, rack, pinion, screw, and universal pin. In this exercise, I'm going to be showing you the gear mate. So if you select on the gear mate, you're allowed to select a few different uh, things. For example, you're able to select the inside of the cylinder. For both sides, you're going to have to select for both the gears. Okay, You're basically trying to mate the gears together and create a ratio in between those two gears. Now, I already know that this gear over here has 10 teeth. You have to remember that. okay? And then this gear has 20 teeth. Now that's very important to know how many teeth you have because that's what's going to define your ratio. But if you don't know how many teeth you have, say you have hundreds of teeth and you can't count them, go ahead and click on here and click on here. That's one way to click on it. Another way is to click on the circular edges. And a third way is to also select the axis. And we'll learn how to do that later. Now you're going to notice one of two things. There's going to be teeth slash diameter that's going to say 14 over here. And the teeth slash diameter is going to say 8. So based on the diameter, this is the diameter. Okay. So it's going to say that based on this diameter to this diameter, there's going to be 14 teeth in this using this diameter and 8 teeth using that. Now you're able to edit that using, either using this box or the, the little box over here. Now it's better to be able to change it over here because you know what this is for. If you come over here and just start changing here, you might change the wrong one. So as you can see, this is the 14. And this is the 8. So you can come down over here and change whatever one uh, you want to change. If you don't want it to be 14 or 8. For example, if I want this to be 10, you can change it over here to 10. And it updates it over here to 10 as you can see. Okay? And same uh, to, to the 14 over here. But for right now, I'm going to keep it at 8 just like it showed. Because I want to show you something about it. Now if I sit here and accept this and get out of this, what I can do right now is just grab this right now just this one gear and then start rotating it you're going to see that it, the other gear rotates with it but not the last gear but one big thing you're going to see is that when i spin this right now you're going to see that this gear actually intersects with some of the gears that means the ratio is not quite correct and as you can see the last one does not quite turn or turn with this one because it is um not mated yet we don't have a gear made on it yet so if you actually take this gear and you start spinning it around you're going to notice that nothing spins with it because we don't have any uh gear mate yet with it so to fix this let's go back over here under the mate and go go click on edit features you're going to go back to the mate okay now go ahead and make sure you scroll down under the mechanical mates but now i want to go back and i'm going to change which what i basically selected to do so you want to come over here under the view options and you want to select view temporary access that's going to create access for anything single radius that is created in here or fill it or radius that is created in this part of the assembly okay so i'm going to click away and you're going to notice three accesses over here that are created and i'm going to be using those for example so go ahead and delete the mate selections and let's go ahead and click these two accesses instead now you're going to see different number of teeth per diameter over here 24 okay and 44 so there's 24 over here and you can double click on each one to change it in 44 now remember what i told you i told you that there's 10 teeth over here and then there's 20 teeth over here now one thing to do is come over here and change this to 10 and this to 20 and this will give you the ratio now remember this is a ratio if you know anything about ratios you'll know that you can actually keep this as one to two you know, if you divide both of them by 10, it's going to be the same as 1 to 2 is the same as 10 to 20. Okay, 
So let's click on that and go ahead and click on accept and click on OK. Now if you take this part and you start spinning it, you're going to notice that the gears don't overlap anymore. You can see how they go smoothly in between each gear and I'm rotating this and everything stays smooth in between each other. So there's no, there's not, nothing that goes, uh, uh, interferes with the other gear. Now something I want to show you also if you go over here and scroll down, you can click on the reverse button. What the reverse button does is it allows the both gears to spin in the same direction. Let's go ahead and click on OK and accept that to show you what I'm talking about. So if I take this gear and I start spinning it to the right, you're going to see how the, the right gear spins with it to the right and then I start moving it back to the left. You see how it spins back to the left? So that, that's what the reverse means. It means the other gear that is supposed to be affected by it will spin in the reverse direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and undo this real quick and I'm going to go back to my gear mate and I'm going to change this to regular. Okay, and then also after I created this, I accepted it, but I'm still in the mate section. I'm also going to click back on gear and let's go ahead and select these two right here. And remember, this is another 20 by 10 because remember, you changed this is the 10 and this is the 20. So remember you follow the little flags over here so you can you'll know which one is which. Okay, so now that you have those correct, click on okay to accept it. You're gonna see every time you add a mate, it comes down and it's added down here on the on the bottom, which also is added to your uh, tree as well. Okay, so under mates over here, you'll see those two gears that are added down here. I'm gonna minimize that real quick. You can also edit any of these gears by just simply clicking on them and the features for them will pop up. So go ahead and click on OK over here and OK again to exit. Now let's go back over here and spin this. See how now they're all affected to each other and there's a nice ratio in between all of them. Okay, so that's how you do mates within gears.